Yo, what is up guys? Shaunis is back here. I'm back with another unboxing for you. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. But if you already are, welcome back. Now today we're gonna be unboxing one of my favorite characters from Demon Slayer, Kimetsu no Yaiba. We're gonna be unboxing the Insect of Shira, AKA Shinobu Kocho. And this is by Mega House. I did a lot of Mega House unboxings and I love their work. This is gonna be from their Gal series. So we already unboxed Giyu. He was from their Gym series and this is from a different series. So I'm curious how these two are gonna scale with each other. They're both non-scale figures, but I can't wait. And I just love the pose that this figure is gonna be in. If you guys remember the Spider Demon arc when she was dropping down in front of Zenitsu looking like a butterfly. I thought that was an epic scene. So we're gonna check out this box really quick. And this is an epic box, by the way. So here's how the front of the box looks like. You see a picture of Shinobu right there. And I just love the purple coloring on the front of the box here. You see the wisteria flowers used in the anime, a poison that's used against demons. And you see the cutout with the figure inside. You got the Mega House logo right there, the Demon Slayer logo. And this is the Gal series. I think I'm pronouncing that right, but the Gal series. And you can see the Aniplex symbol right there. So the front of the box looks really good. Here's the pose that Shinobu's gonna be in. Really beautiful coloring. You can see the green leaves also right there. This is how the back looks like. You get different angles of the figures. The side, another cutout sewing Shinobu. So I really like what they did here. You can see a cutout right there. And even with the bottom of the figure, you get a picture of Shinobu. So I really like this purple coloring down here. So let's get Shinobu out of here. So good packaging overall by Mega House, they never let me down. But taking a quick eyeball test, it looks like we have three different pieces here. And I've never had a clear base before on one of these figures. So that's pretty interesting to have, but let's get Shinobu out of this plastic. So like I said, we only get three pieces for this figure, which makes it really simple for me. But let's take a look at Shinobu's body really quick. Taking a quick look at Shinobu, I'm just loving what I see so far. The paint application, the pose that she's in, the facial expression. This is really good, Mega House. This is really good. And Shinobu has a body on her. Look at that Demon Slayer outfit. So Shinobu looks really good. We also have this clear base right here. Nothing special about that one. So now we're gonna take a quick look at her Nitrin blade right here. I love the color and you can see the Japanese kanji on the blade. The little butterfly design right there. So I think the Nitrine blade looks amazing. All right, let's get Shinobu all put together now. All right, guys, we finally got her all put together now. Shinobu Kocho, the insect to share from Demon Slayer. And I think Mega House killed it on this one. My favorite part has to be how her Hiyori is like flapping around, kind of looking like a butterfly, like she's dropping down. Like I said, this is like the scene when the spider demon arc where she was dropping down in front of Zenitsu, looking like a butterfly. And I think it looks beautiful. The paint job on the Hiyori is beautiful. Now, when it comes to the dimensions of this figure, she stands at about 7.48 inches in height and she's made out of PV. See, she looks a little small, so I'm curious how she scales compared to Gi from the Gym series, but I really love this figure so far. There were some things that I didn't like about it. I'm going to talk about that really quick. The main two things that I didn't like about this figure came from the assembly process. She stands by these rods that attach to her foot right here. I wish it was a little stronger because the rods don't seem that deep. When I was rotating her, she had a little wobble to her, so you can see it wobbles a little bit like that. So that's one thing I didn't like. Also with the sword. The sword feels like a toothpick right here. When I was putting it on, I was really worried that I could break it. So if you guys are getting this figure and you're assembling it, make sure you're careful with this Nitrin blade right here because this thing feels like a toothpick. Other than that, I got no other complaints about this figure right now. I really like what I see. I'm going to give you guys a more in-depth of this face right here because this face looks like the best one that I've seen. So here we have a closer look at Shinobu's facial scope right here. And this is one of the best ones that I've seen of Shinobu. She's smiling, but she's one of the calmest female characters that I've seen in anime. I just love it. Love the purple eyes with the white part inside of them. You can see the lips, the eyelashes, the eyebrows. And I love her hair, how it has the purple highlights at the end. You can also see the purple butterfly on the back. So I think Shinobu's head scope looks really good. 
if we go down right here and take a look at her Demon Slayer outfit, I'm gonna keep saying that I love the pose that Shinobu's in, but you can see the wrinkles, the shading, the purplish highlights in her Demon Slayer outfit. I think the Demon Slayer outfit looks really good, but my favorite part is the Hayori. You see a little seam line right there, but other than that, I love this black and white coloring right here, the pinkish color with the green teal sort of color right there. And this part is supposed to be white, but it has that chrome silver sort of look to it. It looks really shiny, but the paint just looks beautiful. You really think of a butterfly when you see these Hayoris kind of just flowing in the air like that. You can also see the paint application right here under her pants that matches with the Hayori. And I just love the black lines that goes throughout all of it. I think it looks beautiful. You can see the sandals right there. Shinobu looks amazing. There's the Nichirin blade right there. And like I said, this thing feels like a toothpick. So be careful with that. But it's a strong grip on our hands though. So I really like that. But if we turn to the other side right here, you can see the scabbard right there. So here's a closer look of the scabbard right there. I love the white and gold paint right there. You can see the designs right here. And with this pose right here, look how art Shinobu's back is. That's crazy. With this hand right here, the fingers are all spread apart like she's really gliding in the air. And I think that's dope. Here you can see the white paint under Hayori. And also there's Japanese kanji behind her Demon Slayer outfit. Can't really look too close up to that. But here's the back of Shinobu and... That Hayori just looks amazing. Look at the shine and the paint application on it. This butterfly looks beautiful on the back of her hair right here. I just love it. You can also see a butterfly on the back of her shoes, so that looks really dope. So Mega House just did a spectacular job on this Shinobu figure right here. I told you guys I was curious how she fits next to Gyu, their gym series. So let's check out how she looks by them. So here we have them guys. We got the water Ashira, Gyu Tomioka with the insect Ashira, Shinobu Kocho, Gym Series line, Gal Series line, both from Mega House. And I think they look really good together. Gyu is obviously taller because he's standing on a rock, but I think they scale pretty nicely together. I like the details of Gyu's base with the water, with the rock. Well, Shinobu is just this clear base right here. But all together, I do think they look really good side by side by each other. I'm curious what you guys think about this setup right here and what Mega House is doing. I know with the Gym Series, they got a Rengoku coming out, so I can't wait for that. With the Gal Series, I know they got Kanayo coming out, also her Suguko. So I'm really happy to see what Mega House is doing with their Demon Slayer line. And I want to know what you guys think about this setup right here. So far, I'm liking what I see. All right, guys, that was my unboxing of Shinobu Kocho, the insect this year from Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba by Mega House, their Gal series line. And I want to know what you guys think about this figure right here. I think it looks fantastic. Shinobu is one of my favorite characters in the entire series. If you guys are wondering where I get most of my manga and my anime merch, check out my affiliate links in the description below. It really helps out the channel. But thank you guys for watching this unboxing. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and peace.